if we're trying to create a song and we're working with a sample, for instance, and we want to find the tempo of that sample and set our song to it, we do have the tap tempo feature within the transport bar. So by clicking on the tempo, we can click with our mouse repeatedly and tap in the tempo that we have in our head or to the sample. And Studio One is going to automatically adjust. But tapping with the mouse is a little bit uh, awkward. So we do have the ability to assign, say, a button on an external MIDI controller to this feature. And the way that we could go about that is if I open up the mix console, we have external down here at the bottom. You do need to have your external controller connected. Once I click that panel, I can see the external controllers that are connected to Studio One here. And I've got an LX25. I've got the keyboard portion and the control portion. The keyboard is, as it says, for the keys for playing. And the control portion is like for the transport controls that may be on your controller or any knobs or faders. So that's what we want. I actually do have an extra button that I can assign to the tap tempo. So I'll double click on the control. Let's expand this window out a bit. I'll pull that up. Okay, so these are all the controls on my external controller that are currently assigned. But I, like I said, I have a spare button that I can make use of for the tap tempo feature. So what I'm now going to do is click the MIDI learn. While that's active, I'll press that spare button. It pops up, and it, but it pops up as a pot or a knob. So what I'm going to do is right click and let's change that to button. We don't want on off because we're going to be tapping. So what we want is press and release. So I'll choose that. Then we'll right click again, choose assign command. I'm going to type tap and we've got transport tap tempo. That's what we want. Select that. Click OK. Let's exit out of MIDI learn. I'll close out this window, close out the mix console. And now our tempo is at 163. I'll put my mouse pointer there and use the button on my external controller to now tap our tempo in. Okay, now if we don't have an external controller, but we also don't want to use that mouse left clicking, we can assign a key on our QWERTY keyboard. And the way we could do that is coming up to Studio One, Keyboard Shortcuts, type in tap tempo. There we have that. Now in the enter key, we'll want to click there and find an available key. B happens to be available. So I'll put that in and click assign, choose okay. And now using my QWERTY keyboard, the letter B, that key, I can then repeatedly tap on that to get our tempo in.